most people, when I tell them that I work for the Census Bureau, they say, oh, you count people. And I'm like, well, no, um, I'm a geographer. They have no idea that geography plays a part in the Census and the Census Bureau. We are responsible for collecting the legal boundaries, which includes your counties, states, minor civil divisions, incorporated places, and American Indian areas. We also collect statistical boundaries such as your tracts, blocks, block groups, zip code tabulation areas, as well as administrative boundaries including your voting districts, which are really hot right now, and uh, your school districts. Those are all integrated into our database and statistics are produced off of those. The Census Bureau uses ArcGIS to keep our boundaries accurate. Errors and boundaries potentially cause errors in population counts. This can cause municipalities to not receive the funding that is due them due to the demographic data that is associated with that person not being put into the correct geography. So by not ensuring your boundaries are correct, you are taking the chance that you are going to receive less federal funding. I would say that as people become more spatially aware, they are looking more at the boundaries and they are looking more at how that affects their funding and how that affects them on a more local level. Geography is central to the work of the Census Bureau. It is the framework for survey design, data collection, quality, and dissemination. We provide the framework for the Census.